Hey, what's up guys? It's George from MyNaturalHerniaCare.com and uh, I just wanted to do another little video update to let you guys know how it's going with my hernia. Um, and basically, I noticed something that was pretty interesting uh, about two days ago. Um, I noticed that the hernia, before, be, before the hernia was about the size of two golf balls, like I've said before, like next to each other in the inguinal canal, so like stacked on top of each other, it would kind of, it would kind of poke out and then hang down like basically right on top of the, the, the ridge of my pelvis. Uh, so it was pretty low, you know, it almost felt like, like if I would hit it, it would like get smushed in between my pelvis and my hand or something. Um, and now what I noticed, it hasn't been that big for a while, for a couple, a couple weeks, probably, I don't know, a month and a half now, maybe two months. Um, but what I noticed now is that it, it barely pokes out, but when it does, it actually, it's not as low as where it used to poke out. Like even when it started healing before, when it, when it went down in size, it, it was like the size of like somebody poking their finger through from the inside, like through the muscles from the inside, just literally like about that much, you know, it just poke out a little bit. Um, now it's even smaller than that. It's just a little tiny lump. Like, I mean, it's like, a mosquito bite like bigger than a mosquito bite or like a spider bite or something like that um, but it's actually higher I noticed like it's it almost seems like it's it's getting there's a there's a tendon or a muscle or something that's coming in front of it and it's actually coming out on top of it now instead of you know like down and through it's not like down and through like this and then sticking down it's kind of like just poking out just a tiny bit right on top of whatever I don't know if it's the inguinal ligament, ligament that it's actually running next to or what exactly it is, but it just feels like it's just kind of just poking out a tiny bit on top. So I know I'm really close to having this thing healed up. Um, I don't think it's gonna be very long. So I actually started changing up my routine on what I was doing. Before I was, I, I started walking on my toes, um, you know, and, I, and then I realized that that was, all that was doing was taking the pelvic tilt, the anterior pelvic tilt out of the of my posture. So I started working on my anterior pelvic tilt, fixing that, and I noticed a difference right away as soon as I started doing that. So I don't have to walk on my toes anymore. And I still been working on the anterior pelvic tilt. Also, that's loosening up the the hip flexors, which you know that that whole area right there in the inguinal canal is a really complex area with all the musculature that's in there. And the hip flexors go right through there. The psoas coming from the spine down in between and connecting to your femur. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on right there. So loosening all that up is definitely having an effect. Fixing the anterior pelvic tilt, which is when your back is tilted like that, where it's, where you kind of your ass kind of sticks out, your stomach sticks out to the front. So I've been fixing that. Um, doing the still doing the breathing exercises, and then I also just added about a week and a half ago maybe after i made the last video update i started i started adding in um exercise routine that i found from a doctor who was uh healing inguinal hernias with exercise back in like 1915 and wrote a, a thing about it in a medical journal um so I, i'm going to be putting together a video on that i still haven't been able to do it i got super busy last week i wasn't able to do it but i will get that done and post that also so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, but I, I definitely feel already a difference just from doing that. Um, I can feel everything tightening up even more now, you know? Um, it's a lot of like leg lifts and a bunch of different stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I feel a big difference from doing that. And then I also just two days ago, I just started doing ice packs when I lay down in bed at night. I put an ice pack on it, you know, for 20 minutes, and then I'll take it off for 20, I'll put it on for another 20, and then I'll just take it off and then I'll go to sleep. Um, so, you know, for about 60 minutes, you know, or something like that while I'm just like laying in bed. Um, and we'll see how that goes. I don't know if that's gonna have any effect, you know, on it or not, but I, I saw a post from somebody on one of the forums a while back that said that they, they actually healed it. All they were doing was applying cold to it and it, and it healed. So, you know, I know everybody's different. I don't know if it's gonna have an effect or not, but I figure I'd try it. I think I'm at the point now where I'm ready to just kind of give it a final push to get myself all the way there. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. And um, 
I'll keep you updated with all that. And like I said, I'll post, I'll post that video of all the exercises that I'm doing from the doctor from uh, 1915 on there. Um, and that's pretty much it. So everything's good and uh, that's where I'm at. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you're watching this on Facebook, I'll, I'll put some links to the website. I'll put a link to um, a playlist of other updates that you can watch. And uh, like I said, if you have any comments or questions, hit me up. All right, take it easy guys, thank you.